Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part three on E-Cut by Macro Monster Nesting and Multiplying. And this is going to take it a little bit further, and I'm going to show you how you can leave a little bit of padding around your edges so you won't you won't be too close if your wood's not perfectly square, or not perfectly cut to dimensions. But we're going to take this Texas. And we're going to say we want 30 of them. And my, pay, my, my plywood is 30 by 24. So it's given us that many of them. Now on this star, and I just picked a small star just so you'll kind of see what nesting can actually do. We want 200 of them, let's say. I'm going to say OK. Now you've got 200 of them. Now we need to ungroup all these. So just select them all. Go up to a range and ungroup all. Now let's zoom in here a little bit. Now we need to select all these. Go up to nesting. We need to change our layout to, to inches. I've still got to figure that out. Our page size is 30 by 24 and here's the trick right here edge padding padding we're going to change it to a half an inch just to, probably safely you could do a quarter of an inch we're going to pick best results and we're going to hit apply and what is done it's we're going to hit okay and once again it's put it up there we're going to group this, control G, put it to the center of the page. And this time, let's get it up to the corner. You can see we're not all the way to the edge on either side. So the program has let it, given us a little bit of uh, nudge room where you wouldn't run off your page. And it actually took some of the stars and put them in between the shapes of Texas. This is a real cool program. I'm uh, can't play. I can't stop playing with it. Um, I've been looking for a nesting program for a long time. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.